Hello. Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars. And... Ranch owner in the... the John Poindexter is a major Democratic Party contributor. Let's be clear on that. And here's an article from 10 News, WTSP.com story, blah, blah. Uh, for the second time this week, Donald Trump expressed skepticism about how Supreme Court Justice Anton Scalia died, luring conspiracy theories that suggest he's a victim of foul play. Well, it's entirely possible he was. They said they found the pillow on his face, which is pretty unusual to find a pillow, Trump said Tuesday in an interview on Michael Savage's radio show, Savage Nation. Conspiracy theorists started shortly after Scalia's death was made public and persist despite clarifications from the owner of the ranch where Scalia died, as well as county judge who declared him dead's report C. BS News Correspondent Jan Crawford. The suggestion that outspoken and conservative may have been murdered took hold in part because a state judge declared Scalia dead over the phone, something that is allowed by Texas law. Scalia's family said it did not want an autopsy for the 79 year old justice who had a history of chronic health problems. And I'm going to skip down to ranch owner John Poindexter, who is a major commie liberal and a major Democratic Party supporter. Ranch owner John Poindexter tried to clarify his comments, telling CBS this morning that Scalia had a pillow over his head, not over his face, as some may have been saying. The pillow was against the headboard. So, let me get this straight. It's over his head, but it's not over his face. But it's not over his head, it's up against the headboard. This guy is a liar. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. And I would call him a liar right to his face. Judge Cinderella Guevara said the investigators found no signs of foul play or struggle. She had Scalia's personal physician believe the death was due to natural causes. Well, let's get an investigation. Let's get an autopsy. And tax screen, this is what I'm saying. Let's clear that out. You get a tax screen, you get um uh, autopsy, it shows nothing, that's the end of it. But they're refusing to do it. And they're continuing on, basically saying he's a fat man, he deserves to die because he's fat. He wasn't that fat, I don't believe. But here's one more thing. I'm going to show also uh, the original article that shows, says that he was shown with a pillow over his head. Okay, these sites are being uncooperative, so uh, if it screws off, it's, it just may well screw up. We discovered a judge in bed, the pillow over his head, his bedclothes were unwrinkled, said Poindexter. This is the original article. We discovered the judge in bed, a pillow over his head. But apparently these liberals think that the face uh, is located somewhere else. I mean, if the pillow's over your head, it can't be over your face, now can it? Are these liberals really this stupid? Now this is all liberal, liberal leftist pinko commie, basically. Poindexter is. But are they really that stupid that they don't realize on the head? On the head? I just can't. I I can't deal. I'm sorry. There's something else here that's pertinent. However, hang on. Okay, here in this article. Once again, and all these websites are playing games. But basically, this article, WFAA.com, News Local, blah, blah, it says that there's very little, if any, phone service there 
at the Sabolan Creek Ranch. Which means, let's say some, uh, somebody did decide to off him. They, he probably couldn't have even called for help. This is the thing. Now, if this was an assassination, we're talking, this is at least half a million, I would think. I don't know it was an assassination. All I want to see is a autopsy and tax screen. So let me give you a scenario on how this works. Uh, somebody slips in the equivalent of a Mickey Finn or maybe a uh, muscle relaxer. He lays down to take a nap. And then they pour on the ether onto the pillow put it over his head, and let him suck down the fumes. That would do it right there. I don't, not saying that's what happened. What I am saying is that could have been the way it was. If this was an assassination. This is why we need a tax screen. We need an autopsy to find out what happened. And if the autopsy clears everything, then fine. The family doesn't want one, however. So, this is going to generate so-called conspiracy theories from now until the end of time. But, Poindexter's a liar at any rate, and he's changed his story. So, screw him. That's the way I see it. Demand an autopsy, demand an investigation. That's what I'm saying. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.